Autopilot channel. To receive updates of all cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin news and views, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon below to receive notifications. Enjoy the video. Not investing. <laughs> it has very little to do with investing. It has a lot to do with the actually the poor mechanics of this instrument. Because if you're going to do these different uh, the futures, or they, they can risk, they can tell you how much risk there is. But the fact is, uh, a market does not. This market doesn't produce even more tulips. I and mean, let's say it was no. that analogy. But you can't find supply, so they have to reach until supply is felt. But that's not investment. That's just poor mechanics of an instrument. Right. But this is a mania, is it not? Yes. It but is. We we could. Uh, Joe Kerner was asking me about the whole size of it. And that's a problem. I mean, one of the things you could say about this is it's going to be a uh, a trillion dollar market, and, and it's at 250 billion, and it has to get to a trillion before people realize, you know what? I've made a huge amount of money, and uh, put you know, bears make money, bulls make money, but hogs get slaughtered. There seems to be no element of piggishness among the buyers. Right. The the level I mentioned earlier, ending the year at two million at this at this rate of uh, pace of gains, would exceed the value of all U.S. listed market cap. Well, right? Uh, that's well, it's it's it's, it's ridiculous, is it, it not? It's absurd. Yeah, yeah. Well, but are you going to give people uh, Bitcoin for the holidays? Uh, I don't have any to give. I, I thought about it. I thought about the idea. Let's say you bought them for the holidays. Would you flip them because you made so much money on that present that you really don't want to wait the 17 well, what are you days? Gonna, you're going to have to give. Can you give them tenths and hundredths of a Bitcoin? I think that they're you slicing can, right? dice yeah. Bitcoin. Um, what you, about the mining of Bitcoin? Slices? What about these reports, Carl, that it's going to use enormous amounts of electricity <laughs> to no, mine all true. The, yeah, the draining of the power grid. We, we remember a couple of years ago we mined some with John Steinberg here on set. Yes, yes. And the electricity requires to keep the computers cool from all this data mining is, uh, is is high. Well, this is, remember, it's a rivalry among uh, Lisa Su at Advanced Micro and Jensen Wong at NVIDIA, who've got, the re really, they're like Levi Strauss. They're like the guy, they're like arms merchants. They have they have the picks and they have the shovels. Well, they're selling to the blockchain as uh, the whole the people blockchain are, infrastructure. Right. Well, I mean, Venezuela, there's just a huge number right. of people using these cards to try to find more Bitcoin. Remember, this is one of the least functional markets I've ever seen. Don't have a lot of supply. People don't understand how supply comes in. Uh, everybody who's in it says blockchain is so secure. They act as if, you know, look, this is nothing other than launching of nuclear weapons where, you know, Zulu, Tango, Alpha, and you have to have all these different Nothing's more secure than this. Uh, some people from IBM reached, me out, reached out to me about blockchain for dummies because they, the all of the penumbra around Bitcoin is to say this is the only true currency. Now, there are people who are going out and saying the truth, which is what happened to gold? Now, we find 1% more gold per year. So it's got that characteristic. But there is a lot of gold, at least around, so it can't have a parabolic loop. We're not finding 1% of Bitcoin a year, apparently. But we're just not getting that new supply of Bitcoin. Yeah.